Inspiration. What is it that motivates and moves us to learn, teach, and build new works? For Dr. James Hubbard, the University of Maryland's Langley professor at NIA, his inspiration comes from working with his students. Dr. Hubbard's philosophy is simple. Put 25 hours a day and eight days a week into research and you may get results. But if you put that same time into students, you will always get results. Through his many projects, this philosophy is paying huge dividends for the aerospace community. This can be seen clearly in Dr. Hubbard's work as director of NIA's Center for Adaptive Aerospace Vehicle Technology. This center is paving new ground in adaptive vehicle concept development. Here, Dr. Hubbard and his students, in conjunction with other universities and NASA, are developing ideas that are revolutionizing our world. Under his guidance, University of Maryland graduate students are working in the Morpheus Lab at NASA to change the way we view flight today. Morpheus Lab uh, is a place where we dream. It's a place where we work on very, very challenging and difficult problems. I once uh, had my department head visit, and at the end of a presentation by all my students, he pulled me aside. And he says, my goodness, Jim, um, the problems that these students are pursuing are, are very hard. Um, some of them almost seem impossible. And I remember thinking that, um, well, you know, not all the problems are challenging and difficult and stressful and sometimes discouraging, only the good ones. One project in the Morpheus Lab focuses squarely on the development of small, autonomous, flapping vehicles that mimic bird flight. Using laboratories at the NASA Langley Research Center, the NIA-sponsored University of Maryland students are testing these new approaches with much success. From the development of synthetic muscles that will allow rigid aircraft to have bird-like maneuverability to improvements in capabilities of flapping winged aircraft, the student-led designs are steadily improving our understanding of how man-made vehicles can mimic nature. Another project that is being developed in the Morpheus Lab is called Skywalker. This project has the potential to change the way unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, are used. In the past few years, UAVs have become an integral part of our lives. They've become a popular means for data collection and dissemination in both military and civilian applications. This is because UAVs are less expensive and safer to fly than conventional piloted aircraft. Current UAVs have limited capabilities, increasing the desire for larger UAVs that can carry more equipment and loiter in a target area for a longer period of time. But with this increase in size, there would almost certainly be an increase in fuel consumption. This is where Skywalker comes in. Dr. Hubbard and his team have focused their attention on using convective energy found in the atmosphere that can reduce the fuel requirement while increasing the UAV's range and endurance. Ultimately, our goal is to build a, an enduring unmanned aerospace vehicle. The vehicle roughly will have a 40-foot wingspan. Um, it'll be autonomous. It will actually use LiDAR to search the atmosphere for energy pockets that it can exploit. Skywalk is different in that it's fully autonomous. There will be no pilots looking for thermal energy. The vehicle will be able to detect that uh, in and of itself. So it has tremendous potential. We're very excited about that. The project uses an enabling sensor technology consisting of wing surface pressure sensors that can measure real-time lift and drag components and forward-looking environmental sensors that locate potential energy waypoints. The thing about UAVs that is of interest to me is that um, they're here to stay. Whether you like them or not, they're proliferating and they're finding uh, commercial applications, crop surveys, atmospheric data collection, search and rescue. This program is funded by DARPA and in time will almost certainly change the way UAV designers think about the development of new vehicles. These are just a few of the projects that Dr. Hubbard and his students are studying. 
Their research and advances are expanding our understanding of flight and creating new and exciting possibilities for our future. And if Dr. Hubbard has his way, his students will continue to carry on the effort, motivating and pushing not only themselves and colleagues, but also our students of the future.